So now the moment of truth, I'm going to show you how to um, enable 3D 4G develop. The new G develop file doesn't have 3D, okay? Uh, so you're gonna have to fake it at the moment, okay? And uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about uh, this being a fake video. <laughs> well, it's not fake, I mean, it's pseudo 3D. I mean, pseudo means like pretend, right? So this is not actually a 3D game, and also the other videos I've been posting to, uh, they're actually not 3D, guys. Um, I, you know, uh, it appears to be 3D. You can make it look like 3D, but um, it is fake. Okay. In that sense, I mean, the people that have been leaving comments about that, this being fake, uh, I have good news for you. You were right. <laughs> this is this is actually a fake 3D video, but but, but it works. I mean, I press space bar and it jumps and it does appear to be 3d okay uh, let me show you how this works okay. actually if you want here to 3d box it's not even an object it's actually an animation okay so I'm going to play this here now you can see that um, uh, it's a um, it's just a it's just a video okay this is basically an optical illusion guys um, I made this with a uh, iCloud 7 okay you can do the same uh, the vehicle doesn't even need the um, uh, the background okay actually this is a platform object guys okay that's why you can jump okay pretty much like the example we did the other day with the um, uh, fighting game uh, final fight I want to show you actually how to enable a real 3D in um, in GDevelop. Okay, well not well more real than this. Okay, <laughs> uh, and the other source code for the uh, pseudo 3D game um, Mash Games was um, kind enough to lend me the um, the source code to um, to run the um, to run an example here. Okay, so uh, um, I will give him a shout out, but he has more subscribers than I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so sorry mashi all right actually he asked me not to uh, give my shout out okay so now so now the moment of truth i'm going to show you how to um enable 3d 4g develop okay uh, all right guys if i can get you to click on the link down below okay this will take you to this here and uh this is a trello is it trello i, I don't even know how to say this is a three low trello i I have no idea. Yeah, you notice that you can vote on different um, features for GDevelop, okay? And the uh, the one for 3D only has 47 uh, votes, okay? Uh, which means the tile maps will be updated in the next update. So, uh, if I can get you to click on this here and vote for the 3D box instead. Uh, actually, I think it's this one here. Let me show you how it works. So basically, this is already done. This library is already done. All you have to do is uh, vote for it. Actually, it only has nine votes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can uh, vote for this here. Uh, let me just click on this here and let me show you how it works. Now, so this basically will allow you to create games like um, Don't Starve and um, Mario Kart kind of games and that kind of stuff. Let me just show you how this works. Okay, you can see that um, you can make um, it, it sort of fakes uh, 3D planes, okay? But I mean, it's good enough to create a pseudo 3D games, make Pokemon games like this. Uh, okay, so if I can get you to vote for this, uh, it would be great, okay? All right, so this is a fake 3D projection, guys. Uh, so yeah, so if I can get you to vote, I'm going to leave the link down below. And you guys can um, request this feature for GDevelop. Vote for this item. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.